Good morning, Alex here, and if you're here, you've probably noticed all the hype with 10 stack start lately, typed routes, path params, search params, and beautiful server functions that have middleware and all the type safety that you're looking for. Well, I'm here to tell you that you can actually have a lot of these things in Next, and my goal today is to show you how to configure your Next.js project to have all of those type safety capabilities. Don't get me wrong, Tanstack Start is an amazing framework and I've been using it for side projects, but I know a lot of you out there have large Next.js code bases and aren't feeling like migrating everything. So I'm gonna show you some tips of what I do on my end to get all the nice type safety in the next project. Let's dive into it. Tanstack actually did a great comparison table for us to look at and it compares Tanstack Router for the Tanstack Start framework, React Router, and Next.js. When you look at this table, you would think, oh wow, Next.js is, is really bad. A lot of these different features are not officially supported by the library. No path param validation, no search params that are not type safe. But when you boil everything down, ultimately what you're looking for in terms of type safety and a lot of the advantages that people tend to think Tanstack Start has over Next comes down to having typed routes. So easy type safe links, having path params being acknowledged in the props of your pages, same with search params, adding perhaps some validation, and then server actions or server functions that also have all of the niceties in terms of middleware, validation of the inputs, etc. There are obviously other developer experience differences between the two framework, and at the end of the day, it comes down to what works for you. But let me walk you through these points one by one and see how they compare in Tanstack Start versus Next.js with some of the additional tips that I'm gonna be giving you today. So first, the type routes. How can we have links that are statically typed? Well, in Next.js, there's a typed route flag that you can add to your next config. It used to be experimental, but now it's actually stable. And this will create types based on all of your file-based routing for your links. This is as easy as just adding type routes through to your next config. And now your links are gonna include some additional type safety. When you enable this, you also have access to route aware type helpers. So you can get typed page props by knowing the path of the page that you're on and your params such as slug here actually are typed in your props that you get for the page. Let's dive into code to learn a little bit more. So in my next config here, you can see I just put type routes true. And now whenever I build or use the dev command, I actually get in next some beautiful types for the links and the routes. If you're curious about how he handles all of this statically, behind the scenes for you, you can see it here. But that's not the most important thing to know. What you need to know as a developer is how does it actually impact me developing new pages? So I've created a nice little test page here and I'll show the two things we just looked at. So the first is you can actually use this page props type that comes from next. And you'll notice that it wants to get one of your app routes as the type parameter here. So in this case, I'm in test slug, and that's what I put here. And when I do that, my params, my path params are actually typed. So you can see it knows there will be a slug that's a string that is coming from that. So I can even deconstruct that from the params in a type safe way and bring it over. As for the link, it also uses those generated types internally. When I look at the href here, you'll notice it actually has IntelliSense for the routes that exist in my project, blog, demo, root, et cetera. Now this is not perfect because you'll notice actually that there isn't slash test slash a specific slug in here. And the reason for that is the type for href is a little bit more lenient than you would want. It basically realizes that some of your routes will have path parameters, slugs, part of them, and it just allows string in case you wanna specify one of those. So not the most type safe thing, and 10 stack start definitely wins here with the params syntax, where the link you're navigating to will still have the name of the variable in it, but then it forces you with type safety to pass params 
to the link itself. Stick till the end of this video because I built a little something that enables this type of developer experience in Next. But for now, let's move to the search parameters. And really here, there's not much that Next will help you with. Even if we've enabled typed routes, search parameters will still be a record of key and then string or a string array. And it keeps it very, very generic. And we don't really have any type safety or validation around search parameters. When you look at how TanStack handles search parameters, it's actually very nice. In your route definition, you can have a sod validator do validation of those search parameters, which means you can actually go and off of your route called the use search hook and get typed search parameters within your components. This is great and I love it. But again, it's something we could do in Next if we build a little something ourselves. The last type safety argument that people have is around server actions or server functions. And here it's really a question of whether you want your meta framework to come batteries included or if you want to bring your own solution. Next.js is not very opinionated in how you treat the inputs for your server functions, but it's still an RPC, meaning you're calling the function directly in your client code and so when you're passing the params, you have to pass the params of the right type. So you have the type safety inherent to that, just not the runtime validation of the params. Server functions, on the other hand, in TanStack start actually have a little factory pattern where you'll create your server function with a function. That enables some chaining, including an input validator, and then ultimately you're specifying the handler of that function. So in this case, the framework handles running your validation, for example, your Zod schema, when you're calling the function, and then it will throw an error or return the error when there are validation errors with those inputs. This is nice, and it's nice there's a standard way to do this in TanStack Start, but we've actually had this in Next for a while now with a library like next safe action. You can see here, it works pretty much the same way. You have your client, you specify a validation schema, and then ultimately you define your action and next safe action will make sure to run your inputs against that schema and validate them before running your action handler. You may also be familiar with libraries such as TRPC. It also works in a very similar way but next safe action is more of a one-to-one -to, -one to what TanStack Start provides in server functions. Now it's tough to say which of the two provides the best experience here, but if you consider Next's broader ecosystem, they're kind of on par in terms of type safety and input validation for server actions slash server functions. I promise how we can get nice type safety for the path parameters, the search parameters. And ideally I would just tab to another page for a third party library that handles all of that for you, but I couldn't find one. So I actually ended up building one myself and this is what we're gonna have a look at next. Let's take our little demo page that we had earlier and wrap it with what I call the next safe page helper that I developed. So we can go here and then we'll start with create safe page. And I actually made it require a path and a name. And one thing about these two properties, it's kind of how the typed routes links in Next works. If I put some random string that isn't a route in my app, it will tell me just that. So this will help us preserve that same parameter type safety that we had before. And the name is just for observability. I'll do a future video where I explain all about how I log things in my Next application. But off of that, we can now do the page implementation. And this just takes in whatever we had before. The difference being that now we don't need to type the props ourselves and they are type safe. So we have the get path params, which is gonna return similarly the slug in this case, logging functions and a parse search param utility. So this becomes props.getPath params. Now, if I want search parameters, I can actually come here and specify the schema. So I can have, let's say a tab, which would be a Zod string, sure. And now since I've specified a schema, I could also come here and do search is equal to await props dot 
parse search params, which gives me a nice result type. So I can do if search dot success, then within here, search params can be search dot search params. And we now have our tab string also type safe within the context of the page. If the validation fails, we're actually able to get those errors from the Zod validation. In this case, we have a very simple schema of just tab, which is actually optional. So you wouldn't have to specify any search parameters, but maybe you want to have a date in your search parameters, or maybe you have specific values that you expect. And in this case, you might end up in the error branch when those are incorrect. And this is a pattern I found myself doing a lot. So I have a second argument here, which is actually going to be the fallback. So in the case that there is an error, I can simply come here and return, say, a json.stringify of the errors, null and two. And you can get the errors from here. And I'll just put this in a nice spree. There you go. So when I do that and I specify a fallback, I actually implemented some nice typing on the props. And now you don't have to parse the search parameters anymore within the body here. You can actually just get them. And so the search is now your tab parsed result without having to check for success within the body of your page implementation. This is how I handle search parameters and all my projects and having the nice typing is a great upgrade from just managing strings and trying to parse them yourself all the time. Now for the link, we are actually right now in my example repository where we did the subdomains. Check out the video in the description if you haven't already. And this link doesn't really work for that. So I'll actually use my subdomain link and we'll just say go somewhere again. And this link, not only does it let you specify the subdomain you want to route to in a typed way. So you have blog, demo, test, or in this case, you can specify anything since we have the wildcard subdomain route. But say I do specify test, the path name for that, I would put the slug, which is type safe. And you'll notice I have still yet an error to clear. I need to specify the params. And this works in the same way that it does in Tanstack Start, where it prompts me to have some value for the unsubstituted slugs in my path name. Again, a little bit DIY, but you can get the same type safety in your next project as well. One last thing I'll show on this is that if you have some client component here, and let me just create that quickly. You can actually use the custom hook I built to get the page context within that component. So I would go const page context, and I would go use page. And in order for this to be fully typed, I can pass in type of test page, which would just be just like this. And you can see my page context has the name of the page and the parse search parameters, just the same as we have on the server component side. This debate of Tanstack versus Next kind of reminds me of the age old debate of React versus Angular or other batteries included frameworks. React ultimately won because it allowed more flexibility for developers. And here we can see a scenario where Next actually allowed me and other library authors to create nice packages that enable additional type safety around server actions, around search parameters. Whereas in Tanstack, those things come with the framework and in a way it provides a little bit less flexibility. I love what the Tanstack team is doing and they keep pushing the limits of the developer experience that we all expect. As much as I'm not switching away from Next just yet, I'll keep experimenting with Tanstack Start and the future enhancements that Tanner adds to the framework. I'm really looking forward to his implementation of server components. We'll see how all of that comes together when it gets released. Again, be sure to check the links in the description. All the code that I showed today is there so you can bring it into your own next projects. If you like type safety, 
leave a like and subscribe and I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. Also let me know in the comments what you prefer about Tanstack or what you prefer about Next and we'll be looking forward to that great discussion. That's it for now. Hope you learned something and I'll see you again soon.